All right, what's going on guys? Try back again, here to bring you another video. This one's gonna be doing a video giving my thoughts on some brand new pictures for The Walking Dead Season 7 from Entertainment Weekly, The Batman Returns. And as always, I will post the link in the description to the pictures from Entertainment Weekly so you guys can check them out for yourselves in higher definition than the video. Uh, there's also some other cool pictures of uh, just some of the uh, the cast playing around with uh, some some uh, bats. They're like toy bats and stuff, so that's fun. Um, so loving all the uh, Lucille attention this Comic-Con. Lots of fun for sure with Negan. Um, really crazy. Definitely becoming one of the biggest characters uh, the Walking Dead series has ever had. I don't, I'd almost say all already pretty much bigger than, uh, than Shane ever was and some of the other characters we've had before. So the Batman Returns, I love it. Speaking of which, I got a review coming for you guys today for The Killing Joke, Batman The Killing Joke. Uh, awesome DC animated movie. Uh, that'll be posted later today, so heads up for that, you guys, so you can watch out for that. It's uh, it's pretty in-depth, 20 minutes long. It's uh, Batman Joker, uh, one of the biggest Batman stories ever. So heads up for that, you guys. Uh, Want to check that out if you like Batman. So, uh, Batman. <laughs> Different kind of Batman in this, this case. Uh, say goodbye to one of your favorites and hello to Negan. We'll see if it'll just be, it'll be just one. Uh, I'm still... You know, I'm still excited to see who it is, uh, you know, and, and settle it once and for all. All of the discussion that we've had, you know, all late spring and summer so far uh, with who we think it is. And you still can't say 100% for sure. So it's still kind of uh, up in the air and open. You know, I still feel the same way about my predictions and everything. Um, so we'll see how it actually all ends up. But, you know, can't wait for October. It's going to be awesome. And I think maybe this season I am more excited to see what they do with Negan than I am excited to see kind of, you know, the, the regular gang returning again. It's always fun to see uh, Andrew Lincoln, Rick, uh, return, and Carl and everybody. But uh, it's going to be really cool to see the Saviors this year. And uh, I did like how they had such a large part in the, uh, the trailer. So uh, the spotlight for sure on Negan for now. <clears throat> and it'll be just awesome to see him once the uh, once the show begins. Just to get to see how Jeffrey Dean Morgan interprets the character, his version of Negan, and uh, man, it, it should be great. Looking forward to seeing him in the series for quite some time. Very cool one. So check that one out. And one of Season 7 Zombies. Oh, man. Season 7 Zombies. Sweet, dude. So every season, we get to see them get more and more decayed. And uh, it's always fun to see what Greg Nicotero and, and the gang have in store for us in the, in the following one. Um, wow, dude. Really, <laughs> really gnarly, man. Really brutal. Really dark. Really cool. Um, so, you know, there should be enough of a zombie concentration this season. But I think we all can pretty much agree from the trailer and that that it looks like mainly it's going to be focused on characters this season. Because, of course, season six, we had a huge herd and everything. But it is really cool to get to see our, you know, our, our, our friendly neighborhood zombies in and around everywhere uh, as the characters uh, you know are going through the story traveling around doing whatever they have to do so very cool and we have Tom Payne, who of course plays Paul Rovia, or uh, Paul Monroe in the comic book series version, Jesus. Um, and you can see definitely how the nickname fits uh, <laughs> in this picture. Oh, it's funny. So, um, yeah, there was a question in the Q&A, Trev, do you think, you know, do you think that Jesus is going to be gay in the TV series version? Yeah, I think so. I mean, either way, he's got some pretty sweet hair. Not sure if it's his real hair or not, but it's, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's pretty nice, man. He conditions, I'm sure. Zombie apocalypse conditioner and all that good stuff. Uh, yeah, it's nice. Melissa McBride as Carol. We got to see a bit of this in the trailer already, so it's nothing crazy, but it looks like her waking up uh, at the kingdom, maybe looking around for the first time uh, in and around the kingdom and seeing where she is. Probably surprised that she's even alive because she probably thought she was going to die in the uh, you know in the finale for season six, and some fans did too. It was a pretty exciting part from the finale, uh, maybe one of the best parts of uh, the last, uh, last day on Earth. Um, not too much else to say about the picture aside from that. It's, uh, you know, it's pretty cool. Yeah, there we go. There's a badass picture of Negan looking displeased. I like it. I like it. <laughs> so we're not sure where he is in this picture. If he's got, he's got, is that the RV behind him or some kind of, some kind of van RV type deal? Um, you know, not sure where this is. If this is at uh, Alexandria outside the gates, getting ready for filming, not sure. Or if this is at the sanctuary, not sure. Um, you guys can write your comments below and discuss. But either way, it's cool. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm excited to get to see maybe some angry, uh, angry Negan, uh, Negan stuff. And, uh, you know, uh, Negan is, not Negan is not impressed so uh yeah 
Ezekiel sitting on his throne. It's pretty cool. It's a decent throne, you know, simple wood, that kind of stuff. Um, you know, maybe not something uh, to the level of Game of Thrones. But hey, in the zombie apocalypse, they got to do what they got to do. They, if they can make a throne out of wood, eh, it's decent. You know, it's impressive that they even are able to uh, to put one together. <laughs> Fighting out zombies all the time and everything. So uh, no no Shiva HD pictures, though, because, uh, of course, she's not she's not real. Um, but, uh, you know, it is what it is. It'll be interesting to see um, Ezekiel use his uh, sword uh, kind of staff type thing as he, as he has there. That should be some fun. And uh, maybe to see if he gets to meet uh, Michonne, how that, how that meeting goes in the TV series version. Because, of course, in the comic book series version, well, they're both sword, you know, users and stuff, and they kind of hit it off right away. TV series version, uh, you know, Michonne's with Rick, and, uh, you know, you know the old saying, never, never rub another man's rhubarb, you know, you know, you know, no. No, nobody, nobody. Bueller, Bueller. And that's it for the serious pictures from the uh, set or from the show. And we have just some kind of silly ones of them kind of playing with the uh, with with some toy bats and stuff, which is fun. Uh, would like to see if anybody got the uh, the bat from San Diego Comic Con this year. The, how it differs from the previous one. Uh, me, I'm good. I don't think I'm gonna be buying any, any toy bats or anything like that because I got my real one and and it's uh, you know it's heavy hardwood and everything. So it's it's, it's fun. So it's it's cool. Uh, but yeah, it's kind of a funny, silly little pictures there. You got uh, Jeffrey Dean Morgan, of course, with a whole bunch of bats, uh, as as rightfully so, as you. Should. And you have uh, Michael Cudlitz, who doesn't look too happy, to be honest with you. And he's got uh, one of the bats sideways. You've got uh, Stephen Yoon, of course, Glenn. Uh, he's got a bat, too. And uh, then you've got uh, Chandler Briggs Carl with a bat. There's also one of uh, Andrew Lincoln and some of the other people you guys can uh, you can check out um, you know, from the link in the description. And that's it for the new pictures for today, guys. So let me know what you think about all of them. Uh, you know, Write your comments below on what you think. And if you liked the video, as usual, you guys know what to do. Please thumb it up below. You can also share, favorite. And if you're new and you want to subscribe, bottom left to subscribe. Always appreciate it, guys. That's it for today. So we'll see you again real soon, probably tomorrow, for a Q&A. Yeah, we'll have a Q&A tomorrow. And uh, later today for the uh, Killing Joke review. That's it for this one, guys. See you soon. It's Trav. I'm saying peace. Later, guys.